So let's check out Onion Share. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanted to cover a small application called Onion Share. And this is a free and open source application that lets you securely and anonymously share files. Also host websites and chat with friends using the Tor network. And nowadays it's almost impossible to do anything online without being tracked by media corporations. And many online services that claim to be free often collect your data and either sell it or show you ads based on that collected data. Now, most open source applications, on the other hand, are not only free, but also respect your privacy. They don't collect your data and are often more transparent about how they operate, especially since majority of them allow you to see the source code of the actual application. However, when it comes to file sharing and chatting applications, your options with open source tools have been somewhat limited. For instance, their signal which is a great end-to-end -end encrypted chat application, but it requires you to have a phone number and has file size limitations, just like Discord. But this is where Onion Share comes in. It's a powerful privacy-centric tool that takes full advantage of the Tor network. And if you're new to Tor, the Tor network is like a maze of computers around the world connected and running Tor relays and exit nodes. And when you visit a website on the Tor network, your query hops around those computers protecting your identity. Unlike centralized services like Dropbox or Google Drive, the Tor network is entirely decentralized. And websites on the Tor network use a .onion domain, which are usually a string of numbers and characters. And OnionShare taps into this network to provide secure and anonymous file sharing chat functionality, and even the ability to host your own Onion website. And the files you share are stored on your computer, not on a centralized server like Google Drive or Dropbox. So let's hop over to the website. I wanna show you guys some of the Onion Share features. That way you can get a better understanding of how to use it. And then I'll walk through the install and setup. So let's get to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm at onionshare.org. And let's talk about some of the key features of OnionShare. As you can see, here is a screenshot of what it actually looks like, but it says OnionShare is an open source tool that lets you securely and anonymously share files, host websites, and chats with friends over the Tor network. And the current version is 2.6. And of course, I'll have this link down in the description of the video so you guys can go to this website as well. But First, it's a cross-platform application, as you can see right here. It officially supports Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, which is where I wanna get it installed on. But you can use those other operating systems to get it installed. And you can also, you know, obviously share and receive files anonymously using the Tor network. And here are some more screenshots of how it actually works. You can see the share files, receive files, host websites, or host a website and chat anonymously. And here's what it looks like when you share files, you know, ever wanted to share something without also sharing it with Google or Dropbox, you know, tax documents, medical information, unpublished research, then share files directly and securely without the middleman. And like I said, this whole thing is over the Tor network. You can receive files as well. And one cool thing about it, you can use it over the command line. So you can set this up on a home server and share files with other devices securely. So super dope. 
And one other cool thing about it, you can set up a meeting room and you can chat anonymously. And none of this is saved. It's no account required. And so I think this is one of the, like one of the best features of this application. And if we scroll down a little bit more, it says included with Quibus OS, which I've covered Quibus before, Tails, Hoonix. I think I looked at Hoonix before. I looked at Tails for sure. And Parrot, oh, I definitely covered a video on it. And so one other thing I want to show you guys, if, if you go up here and click docs, that'll open up the documentation for the application. And it's very detailed. It goes through the installation, connecting the tour, you know, how onion share works. It breaks all of that down, advanced usage, getting help. If you need to security design, developing onion share. So you could collaborate with this actual project and just to show you guys the github page they do have a github page for it you can see all the code that's associated with the application and a little bit more information over here as well how to install it on mac os and other information but the main thing you want to focus on is the documentation like i said this will cover everything now let's hop over to a virtual machine so i can walk you guys through the install all right so i'm logged into my virtual machine let me walk you guys through how to get it installed super simple in ubuntu but all you have to do is hit the search button obviously you want to update your system right now it's just a firefox update currently i'm gonna ignore it and let's just go on and install it right fast and you guys will see it'll bring up two different options one is the snap and one is the dev package so if we go right here if you look up here at the source that is the dev package down here. You see it selected right here, but you got a, a couple different versions of it. You got your snap stable and the edge version, and then, you know, dev package. And then if we go back here, I'm not sure why they separate it. This just shows the snap package by itself. It doesn't show you that dev package at all. So this will install the snap package from the snap store. And also in order to install it, the command way is simply sudo snap install and then onion share it's one word and let's just tab it out but yeah that's all you got to do is type that in i'm not going to install it that way we can install it directly from here so we can hit install and i'll wait for it to finish let's go on type in our sudo passwords and this is the recommended way because with a snap or a flat pack is separate it's in a separate environment from your main system. So this is kind of like that recommended way of installing it. You can install a dev package, sure. You know what I'm saying? But Snap is what's recommended. And just to quickly show you something else right fast while we wait on that to finish installing. If you go to orchlinux.org and no, let's go to the packages. If you check under the packages, Onion Share is in the main repository. So all you have to do is type sudo uh, pacman uh dash capital s and then onion share all one words and you'll find the package there as you can see right there uh share a file over to our hidden services anonymously and secure and it's up to date so it is available for orch users as well so if you even if you have one of those orch based linux distro as long as you have access to that orch repository it should have onion share in there and all you have to do is run pacman and get it installed that way so back to the terminal because i see that it is complete and boom as you can see it's done that's an easy install and all we have to do is look for it under our programs and it should be at the end yep there we go so let's go down and open it up for the first time so you guys can uh, see how it works you know what i'm saying and boom there we go so the first thing i like to tell people to do is you want to auto connect to tour you want to select this checkbox this will set the program to auto connect to tour so you can click click that and then hit connect to tour you can also check the network settings you can go in here make any changes right there once you're connected but let's actually connect to it and see what happens and then let's actually close out the settings and then let's go back into the settings after this and boom so we are connected to tour and just to go back into those network settings so you can go into tour settings and that's what i i click down here on the right hand side it's just that wheel that takes you to the settings and i was going to get to this a little later anyway but how should onion share connect to tour so use the tour version built into onion share you can attempt auto configuration with tour browser or you can connect using control ports you can connect using socket file 
And this is their checkbox in case you want to turn off the auto connect to tour when you first initial do the initial setup. You can turn it off if you want to and then use a bridge if you want to and bridges help with traffic enter the tour network if tour access is blocked so that's what a bridge is used for you can use a bridge to get around you know the connections wherever you're located so uh, you can test your tour connection you go through it'll check all your settings and test to make sure it's connected to tour properly and sometimes this takes a little while, but I'll come back when it finishes. And as you can see, it took too long. It says maybe you're con maybe you aren't connected to the internet or you have an inaccurate system clock. I'm not gonna run it again. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it don't. You know what I'm saying? It'll go through and test the tour connection, but I'm gonna just ignore this error for now, but we're good to go. So we're, we're actually still connected. So don't worry about it. I wanted to show you guys the general settings. So you got your language. You can uh, set a theme if you want to. I always like those dark themes. I said save and you have to restart in order for that color to take effect, which I want to do so I can show you guys. So let's hit show applications, go back here and find onion share and it should have that, that same thing. And as you can see, it automatically connected to the tour network based on our settings. So we are connected to tour. And here are the four options. Like I stated, uh, you have four different options. Once you open up the application and connect to tour, you can share files that uh, you can start receiving a file and let's click on here. So you can see this is where it will save the files, the location. You can change that location to whatever you want. You could disable submitting text, disable uploading files, use notification webhook. Always open this tab when onion share starts. So if you want to the receive tab, and this is for each one of the tabs, you can always open up a specific tab. And this is a public onion share service, so disable private keys. That's if you want to. And they do have some advanced settings. I won't go through all of this, just showing you guys, but start onion service, stop onion service, you know, the like that or whatever. Now let's go down and close this and go back to the home page. And all you have to do is hit the X and it'll take you back to the home page. The home page will open up no matter what you're doing. Once you close out everything, it'll go right back to the home page. Now, share files. This is the one, you know, that's very very cool. This allows you to share whatever you want. And so let's open up, let's say the text editor right fast. Open it up. Let's see super secret information. And let's go down and save this file. And we could just save it test dot text and save it in our documents directory, hit save, boom. So we got our file there. So I just wanted to create something right fast. And then let's go down and drag that file in here. And I wanna show you guys what you can do with it. So you can start sharing it and that will actually create a link for an individual to download this file. So basically you are adding whatever files you want to share here. And then you can start sharing. Now it has a couple options here. So stop sharing after the file has been sent, uncheck to allow downloading uh, individual files. So that will stop the sharing of the file. And then always open this tab when onion share is started. If you want to, uh, this is a public onion share service. You can click, click that to disable private keys, but let's go down and hit start sharing. So you guys can see what happens. And this will go through and create a onion link. And here you go. So first send the onion share address below. So boom, copy address and you can share that with whoever and you want to share it privately. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then there is a private key that allows access to your onion share service. So you need to give this to the person as well so they can access the share directory so they can download the file, whatever file it is. And this is the most important step you want to send this encrypted some kind of way however you send it to them you have to send it to them encrypted because what's the point if you share this out then anyone can have access to it so you want to keep this stuff secure or whatever you're sharing secure so you want to send this a very private way you can use proton mail or like one of those tour email services that are out there to share the information which i don't know how secure that is you know what i'm saying like a one-time email address that you can set up that can send this information and then boom it's gone no record of it that's one of the best ways to actually do it and right now this link is accessible 
but it's accessible over a Tor browser. You can only open it up from the Tor browser because it has a .in link. And the best way to test this is by opening up the Tor browser. So let's go on and check it out right fast. But just to show you guys, I do have the Tor browser downloaded. Let's go over here right fast. And if you guys have never used it before, it's not that, not that difficult to use. Let's actually see. Let's go to my home directory. I just want to show you where it's located. So I just downloaded it, extracted it, dropped it in here, made the file executable. You basically have to make this file executable. And then I like to just run it from the, from the terminal. So let's CD to tour and I think it's tour and let's press enter and then ls this directory. Yeah. And all we have to do is run it. So starts tour browser desktop press enter it'll start it detached so we don't have to worry about the terminal anymore let's go down and connect to the tour network i think i did a video showing people how to install the tour browser or ubuntu it's not that difficult to use all you have to do is download the files and then make it executable like i said and then start the application so let's go back over to our onion share and let's see if we can get to this link right fast so copy address let's check this out right fast so paste and go and it should go through the tour network get all the nodes and everything and then it should connect back to this computer <laughs> you know th all through the tour network so let's give it a second because tour is very slow you know depending on your connection it is slow and how many hops and where those hops are within the pathway is going so i'll be back when it connects all right cool so look at what it's asking you it's asking you for the actual private key so let's go back to our onion share and like i said you just have to get this information to them you know some form of fat some way or fashion you know what i'm saying to get it to them that way they can drop that key in so they can authenticate and boom we are connected and as you can see boom there we go so that is the file you can download the file from there and this is all done through the tour network and i'm using two different applications so it is simulating just like if someone actually did this with let's say another person by sharing the link and then sharing the key in an encrypted way and then connected to the server it's going through all those nodes and all that good stuff to get to the files and so let's go down and close the tour browser because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to stop sharing this file and then we can close this out. And then I wanted to show you guys, you can start a website. I won't go through the process of start hosting a website. And then you can also chat anonymously on here. I won't go through those steps for that either. It's not that difficult. Just read the documentation. I kind of want to just mainly focus on the sharing file portion of it and receiving files if you need to. You can check out the documentation for that as well. If you need a little bit more information, so in conclusion, Onion Share is a powerful tool that harnesses the potential of the Tor network for secure and private online interactions. And like I've said in the past, it's a game changer for anyone who values their online privacy. And so thanks for watching and I hope you found this video informative and don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with others who might benefit from Onion Share. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course, keep it techie.